The feisty and defiant owner of WHDH lost another round this week in his battle to keep NBC as his station's affiliation. A judge ruled that Ed Anson and WHDH have no legal right to demand that NBC renew its contract. WHDH owner Ed Anson took his case to court, suing NBC parent company Comcast for breach of contract and unfair practices. But a federal court judge was having none of it. Today, a federal court judge granted Comcast's motion to dismiss the lawsuit. In a 23-page decision, federal judge Rick Stern said WHDH fell woefully short of proving that Comcast engaged in unfair practices. Writing in prosaic legalese, WHDH's loss of the NBC affiliation is no doubt a blow to the station's profitability. But absent any actionable harm attributable to Comcast, it is simply an endurant consequence of doing business in a competitive and unsentimental marketplace. For its part, NBC said, we're very pleased with the court's decision. A bit of a roller coaster ride. WHDH says it's reviewing options. Hmm. I don't know. I think they're kind of out of options here. There, there's no question that NBC is going to move this. They haven't said exactly where yet, Dan, but it looks like it's going to be this uh, signal. It does. In New Hampshire, is it? WNEU in N -E -U. southern New Hampshire, yeah. I believe. You know, one of the things I thought was interesting about this is, I mean, Ed Anson in some ways is not a very sympathetic character. True. <laughs> but, you know, you've got giant Comcast against this yeah. independent station owner. Um, one of the things that the judge said that I think is worth exploring a little bit more is that the major problem with Anson's case is he didn't have legal standing mm. to argue on behalf of members of the public who would be harmed mm. by this moving mm. to a tiny little, little signal. It strikes me that he kind of opened the door maybe just a little bit of a crack for some sort of a class action mm. lawsuit to be brought on behalf of some viewers. Well, that's an interesting point because one thing to remember is this, this actually affects a very, very small sliver of viewership. Most people have cable, satellite. We're talking a really small sliver that doesn't, that's still, I guess, getting some sort of this broadcast people signal. People like but me, right, with rabbit ears. You, yeah. Yeah. People like you, we've determined. But, yeah. you know, these are also probably the most vulnerable people, the poorest yeah. people, either, you know, elderly people, poor people who can't afford cable. So there is maybe a way to redress their grievances as opposed to well, Ed People are going to be fishing all over the dial for that, even if it, it once it moves off of, you know, yeah. Channel 7, it's going to be hard to find. It's going to affect a lot of people. So do we have any sense of what uh, Anson is going to try to do then once he yeah, loses that? I mean, how do yeah. you, is it he even worth trying to keep it going? He says he's going to build up a big going? news operation. He says but what's he going to carry for program? What's he going to run? Are there any I examples? Runs? Yes. And the Beverly Hill Bills. Yeah. <laughs> well, more more syndicated stuff, especially if I yeah. happen yeah. to be able to get it with my rabbit ears, is great because I can't get <laughs> Nick at night. But <laughs> is there any example of an independent station anywhere in the country bu building up sort of a robust news team and running in, it and oh, sustaining it? There was one out in Oakland, California. Yeah, I was going to say there was yeah. California. But uh, what happened, though? I don't remember. They, they lost their affiliation, too, and they were yeah. a huge operation. Yeah. They were one of the best news operations in, in, in all, all of America. But they kept going, yeah. right? I don't know I what don't happened know, to I don't them. either. Yeah. And then, and then, of course, the other shoe is that this NBC Boston is going to yeah. grow. Comcast that's is going to grow NECN. that. Yeah. yeah, that's NEC. That's confusing to me. So I'm sure so, we'll they're going to be sharing it. resources yeah. between NECN yeah. and, yeah. The, and the network affiliation. We'll be talking about that later.